Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sorry I've been so in my A. I took literally a month off on YouTube. I feel like I needed a break just to refresh on everything and due to the new year I kind of needed a break in general just so I could kind of like know what I wanted to do for the month of February and now we're here. So um, we're going to do this chrome blue shadow. I've been eyeing this shadow from those are colors for the longest so that's why we're creating this video today this is gonna be my first video for the new year basically um so I wanted to do more of a smoky app but I wanted to be the blue shadow to be the center of attention mostly so that's why we are starting with soft colors just to recreate a bold look with it and I've been practicing a lot like the whole cut crease Situation. I feel like I need more practice, but bear with me as we get, as I get my life together, I should say. Um, so yeah. So for the new year, I decided to start going to the gym more. I was only going two days a week and I'm going four. Um, just so I could be a little more healthier and because your girl is trying to look good for um, a vacation trip that I'm going to be having soon. So stay tuned for that. So this is the color that I'm using. It's actually by Dove's Colors. It's beautiful. Her chrome shadows are everything. So the color that I'm using by Dove's Colors is called Tell Me More. It's just like this beautiful blue. Um, it's not like really of a dark blue. It's more of like a chrome blue, which I really love. And then what I'm doing is I'm just patting it down. So I don't have too much of a fallout. And then a good tip that I actually learned. Um, I think it was from either Desi or Karen. I'm not sure. But one of them was raving about it. So I was like, you know what? I need to give this a try. So that's why I decided to use this beautiful royal blue shadow. Um, so when it comes to cut crease, this is the way I do it. You guys don't necessarily have to do it like this. I like to grab more of a small detail brush, especially like the ones from a liner, just to kind of create my cut crease, just because my lids are kind of like more hidden. Um, so I kind of have to work a little bit harder just to create a cut crease. And I'm really sorry with my brows, guys. Um, I've been trying to let my brows grow in, and they look extremely crazy. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, so then I'm going with a like, darker tone just to make the eyes pop more. And again, I'm using my fingers just to create more of a pigmentation to the shadow and for it to like stand out a little bit more, especially like in the middle. Actually, one of my coworkers showed me how to do that when you create more of a pigmentation to the shadow when you kind of just press it with your fingers and I'm using the KKW concealer again I use this in my last video for you guys to see how um, it works and it's actually really good the coverage is amazing it kind of reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape just this one's a little bit um, less um, heavy on the skin And then, of course, I'm using my translucent powder by the Laura Mercier. Um, yeah, this is actually the only um, setting powder that I use. I've been hearing a lot of great things about um, the Huda Beauty one, so I'm really going to give that a try. And then I'm using my powder just to set everything in place. And then I'm going to go back and use um, an e.l.f. pencil just to put black eyeliner in in my waterline just to make the eyes pop and so there's more drama after that i'm gonna go and use a smaller brush and just smudge it out just to make everything pop and again for more drama more drama for your mama um and then after that i'm going to be using a bronzer just to chisel my cheeks and to kind of just make my cheekbones 
have a little bit more drama as well. The bronzer that I'm using here is actually by Estee Lauder. It's the Bronze Goddess one in Deep. I feel like the light and medium are a little bit red on me, so that's why I use the darkest color that they have, which is Deep for my skin tone. And then I'm going to be using my Amusi highlighter, which I love and I'm obsessed with. And it's only a minute edition and I literally ordered two more because it's already sold out everywhere. So yeah, you gotta stack up, you know? And of course I always use it in my inner corners as well just to make the eyes pop. And my Wonder Beauty mascara, which I've been loving as well because it separates my lashes really well. And it makes them stand out more. And it separates also, it kind of just makes sure that my lashes is going to stay in place. And that they fit in with my fake ones. And last but not least, my liquid lipstick from Morphe. And the color that I'm using for the Morphe liquid lipstick is called True Story. It's more of like a nude brown. Um, I love their formulas. They stay on really well. So you guys should definitely check it out. Also, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. And I can't wait to show you guys my Valentine's makeup looks that I have planned. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. You know what to say on my way out. Hit me with the hip in a while. Now I'm going straight through the fire.